Welcome back to another segment of the MCR. My name's TJ. Please like, share, and subscribe. We're on multiple platforms. We're on multiple social media sites. And I'll tell you right now, my kitty cats have finally settled down. They're asleep. They're quiet. I don't think you're going to hear any jingling bells in the background in this one. That's good news. In my previous video, I made mention of an article written by a Michael Anton. He wrote it July 28 this year. And it's titled, They Can't Let Him Back In. And I, th I heard about it on the Dan Bongino show. I listen to Dan Bongino as much as I can. And I try to catch his podcasts. And, and in his podcast, he went in depth of this, in this article written by Michael Anton. And I'd like to reference parts of it. I uh, printed it out. It came out to like seven pages of, uh, of uh, 12 font, moderately spaced for easy reading. It took about 10 minutes for me to read it. Uh, it if, uh, if you're able to find it, I would really encourage everyone to read it. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a very good article. And... Uh, it gives us a heads up of uh, their plans. Because he mentions plans, plans A through F, okay? And he briefly, well, he doesn't briefly, I'll briefly reference uh, what these plans are. His, uh, his article begins with, and parts of it I'll read, parts of it I'll paraphrase, okay? Uh, he begins his article off with, The people who really run the United States of America have made it clear that they can't and won't, if they can help it, allow Donald Trump to be president again. A couple sentences later he writes, Simply for quoting their words in an essay for the American mind, I, being Michael Anton, I was mercilessly mocked and attacked. And he mentions how he was mercilessly uh, mocked and attacked by fellow supposed conservatives. He, I, I think he, uh, uh, in his uh, uh, The American Mind, he, he wrote, Anti-Trump hysteria is in the final analysis not about Trump. And I've said that all along. As much as they're out to get Trump, they're out to get us all. He references Liz Cheney saying the 45th president, uh, how she says the 45th president, along with her dad, too. I mean, he did that little uh, political ad for, uh, for his little girl, saying how the 45th president is literally like, the greatest threat facing America today, greater than China, than our crashing economy, than our unraveling civil society. So he's a greater threat than paying 4 or $5 a gallon. And, uh, you know, I... I'm off track here, but I went to Menards the other day to get some kitty litter and some kitty food. And as I was looking at the receipt, things I used to buy, and I, you know, because I buy the same stuff over and over again, I paid about $10 more than I did just a few months back before all this started happening. Okay, uh, so don't tell me there's not inflation out there. I'll go to page two of this printed out article. Michael Anton rhetorically asks, he says, I get many of my critics' points. I really do. I hear them all the time from my mother. But even if we were to uh, stipulate them all, say, okay, okay, do Trump's faults really warrant tearing the country apart by shutting down half of it from the political process? He continues to write in the next paragraph, love him or hate him, during Trump's presidency, the economy was strong. Markets were up. Inflation was under control. Gas prices were low. Illegal border crossings were down. Crime was lower. Trade deals were renegotiated. ISIS was defeated. NATO allies were stepping up. And China was stepping back, in parentheses, a little. Deny all that if you want to. The point here is that something like 100 million Americans believe it strongly and are bewildered and angered by the elite hatred for the man they think delivered it. And he did. Further down, Michael Anton writes, Anti-Trump hysteria is in its final analysis not about Trump. 
The, the regime can't allow Trump to be president, not because of who he is, but because who his followers are. Page three. Many of whom still claim to be conservative, like uh, Bill Crystal or George Will or these high road never never uh, Trumpers, uh, high road Republicans. Uh, many of whom still claim the label conservative will no longer speak to me, me being Michael Anton, because I supported Trump. Remember, these are Michael Anton's words. Further down, he begins the plans, plans A through F. Plan A, January 6th show trials, hoping to make it impossible for Trump to not run again. But it's, it's uh, Michael Anton's beliefs, it ain't working. And the ruling class, he writes, and the ruling class will surely help him in that endeavor by ever more radical and hateful incompetent. Basically saying that uh, the, the more they act out in these January 6th hearings, the less it's going to work. What am I on? Page four? Something like that. Plan B. Since the January 6th committee, uh, since that's not working, uh, plan B is it's going to, January 6th committee is going to lay the groundwork for indictment of Trump of seditious conspiracy. You know, uh, he then he, I'm going to paraphrase him here, even if Trump is guilty, you just can't convince a hundred million Trump supporters of that. And they can't seem to get that. Further down below, he writes, he suspects there could be some on, uh, well, let's just say anti-Trump. They're thinking, they're thinking that uh, this is a win-win for us. If we convict him of seditious conspiracy, if we convict him or damage him enough that he can't run and there isn't a huge backlash, then mission accomplished. Or, if there is, well, those people who, those people were already or soon to be insurrectionists. And so we will be justified in unleashing the security state against them. Indeed, there are benefits to flushing them out. Flushing them out by, you know, firing us up. Flushing them out uh, before they are fully organized for the second civil war. We know the insurrectionists are already plotting. Again, he writes this, it's his belief that that's what uh, the anti-Trumps uh, are thinking. Page uh, 5, I think, here. Plan C. If none of this works, uh, they're, they're going to have Trump declared ineligible under the Insurrection Clause of the 14th Amendment. Michael Anton writes, this is riskier than Plan B. If you think Trump base will howl over the conviction in a D.C. kangaroo court, wait until you see the reaction to some Democrat-appointed appeals judges saying Trump can't run. Even if the regime got the Supreme Court to uphold that 9-0, 9-0, they won't. Trump's base won't support it. Well, basically, it's ramping up. Plan D. Just beat him at the ballot box. Of course, Plan B, he writes, that's dicey as hell. Uh, and, and it's and plan D ain't gonna work. So so he has plan D there for the sake of being there, but he knows it's not gonna work. He says the country will be in deep recession by election time. Uh, so if no other reason, that ain't working. Plan E. Oh, here here's here's a new one. Plan E is to cheat, as in the electoral like the electoral anomalies of 2020. He's he, Michael Anton writes. I mean the kind of pre-cheating that the regime boasts about as election fortification. Change the rules in advance in ways that favor Democrats and hurt Republicans, especially in swing states, oh, like here in Michigan and Wayne County. There is no question that they will do this. Yeah, no question. You know what? Yeah, they did it already. Why wouldn't they? It worked last time. I think I'm on six or seven. Michael Anton continues. Whatever happened in 2020, a supermajority of Republicans doesn't believe that election was on the level. Oh, you think? The regime is extremely worried about this, which is why the propaganda is on, is on it so intense. They know that to pull off a win in 2024, 
and have it accepted by the 2020 doubters, the next election is at least going to have to look a whole lot cleaner than the last. Yeah, good luck. Make it look cleaner is hard to do without actually making it cleaner. The downside to that, though, is it's obvious. There, there's no way they're going to make it look cleaner. Which leaves, Michael Anton writes, which leaves Plan F. They've made it clear that under no circumstances can Trump be allowed to take office again. Among the circumstances covered by the word no, which seem to be an electoral college majority or tie up a House vote in Trump's favor. He references, and we talked about this way back in the 2020 election, the Transition elect, uh, transition Integrity Project. I, I spoke about them back in 2020. Uh, uh, the contest would become a street fight, not a legal battle. Again, their words. Their words being the Transition Integrity Project. Page 8, the final page. I'm almost through here. Uh, he goes... He writes, but allow me to translate the 2020 summer riots all over again. In closing, his last couple sentences read, Rest assured, if what I fear might happen, happens, we will be blamed for it. Now, they're already blaming us for it. That's my words. He continues, and the fire next time will make the, make the reaction to January 6th look like a marshmallow roast. I don't know which possibility is scarier that they haven't thought of this uh, that they haven't thought any of this through or that they have so you know he's wondering okay they've thought this through or maybe they haven't and that's what scares them maybe even more so writes Michael Anton July 28 2022 a month and a half before the Mar-a-Lago raid Okay, so that uh, that gives some deep insight as to these piece of excrement never Trumpers and establishment swamps and uh, uh, well, dare I impugn the integrity of the DOJ and FBI? If you recall, Merrick Garland got up there and became all indignant. How dare you impugn us? You know what? How dare you, sir? And that's it. I'll stop. I'm fired up. Thanks, everyone, and uh, a lot. Thanks for allowing me to rant. Yeah, read this article. You got to read this article. I think it was in Real Clear Politics or something. What I did was I searched Michael Anton. Uh, I searched Michael Anton. They can't let him back in. If you search that, you should be able to find this article. Okay, and uh, I'll catch you all down the road. Uh, perhaps uh, in a week or so, Mac and I can. Do a couple groups and group uh, videos, and uh, uh, I'm sure Mac will bless us with his knee-jerk gut reaction responses, which I just love. Okay, and that's it. I'll catch y'all later. As always, be safe. Watch your six, and don't try it on me.